hello friends uh, in this uh, <coughs> virtual uh, experiment we are going to solve uh, distillation 10 problem by using matlab in the previous video we have already have introduction of matlab and its matrix operation now based on that uh, prerequisite we are uh, going to solve this problem so here uh, we are going to solve steady state material balance problem on distillation separation train so for that we have we will have a simultaneous linear equation which are going to form by applying a material balance on that steady state process with a distillation train and then we'll use a matlab uh, program to solve that simultaneous linear equation so this one is the problem statement xylene styrene toluene and benzene are to be separated with the array of the distillation columns as shown in the figure uh, F, D, B, D1, B1 and D2B2 are the molar flow rates in mole per minute which is shown in the figure. So here uh, this feed flow rate F to the column 1 is given 70 mole per minute and its composition for this different components xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene is also provided. Then distillate from the top, column 1 is fed as a feed to the column 2 and we get the stream D1 and B1. Similarly, bottoms from column 1 is fed to column 3 and we get D2 and B2. So all these streams are having these four components but with different composition. So here we are applying the material balances on individual components on overall separation train. It yields the equation set. So this is the boundary for a material balance application. After that, we get four equation for uh, four different components, xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene. Here, uh, D1, B1, D2, B2, these are the unknowns which we have to find out. And right hand side, of all these equations forms one column matrix. So by applying uh, matrix operation, we can uh, write this equation in the form of matrix. So A is the composition, X is unknowns for D1, B1, D2, B2 and F is this right hand side column matrix. Then we can solve the unknown matrix X by using this uh, matrix operation. After that, we, we will get this uh, x in the form of d1, b1, d2, b2 and we can assign that by using this d1 is equal to x1, d b1 is equal to x2, d2 is equal to x3 and b2 is equal to x4 by writing this in MATLAB program. Similarly, overall balances and individual component balances on column 2 can be used to determine molar flow rate and mole fraction from equation of stream D by applying on this boundary. So we'll get these equations molar flow rates D is equal to D1 B1 D is equal to D1 plus B1 and also we'll get four equations for xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene by application of steady state material balance over this boundary where XDX, XDS XDT and XDB are the mole fraction of xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene in distillate. Similarly, overall balances and individual component balances on column 3 can be used to determine molar flow rate and mole fraction of stream B from the equation set. Here we are going to apply the steady state material balance on column 3. So we can have this equation molar flow rates gives B is equal to D2 B2 B is equal to D2 plus B2 and for uh, four equations for xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene is obtained here by applying uh, steady state material balance where XBX, XBS, XBT and XBB are mole fraction of xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene in bottoms. Then by solving this uh, 
simultaneous linear equation we have to find out molar flow rates of the stream d1 d2 b1 b2 and we have to find out the molar flow and composition of stream b and d now we'll see the matlab problem so here uh, first of all we'll uh, give that uh, um, matrix a which consists of uh, the composition of four components so they are having four equations so we can have this matrix a in the form of 4 by 4 matrix then after writing this matrix a in a editor window in this way by separate four lines we can get the matrix a then uh, we have to give matrix f after writing uh, this matrix a and f we will have ax is equal to f this uh, matrix formation and we have to find out x so for that we use this command then we will have the unknown matrix x having d1 b1 d2 b2 but to assign the values of x for d1 b1 d2 and b2 we have to write d1 is equals to x1 b1 is equal to x2 d2 is equal to x3 and b2 is equal to x4 in matlab program then uh, we'll move towards the material balance on column 2 by applying the material balance on column 2 in this way uh, we'll have to write this for that solve for the column 2 and by writing these equations which are formed by material balance on uh, column 2 similarly we'll have the material balance on column 3 and we'll get these equations we can write these equations in a MATLAB program right then uh, after writing this uh, we'll save that uh, program and then we'll run so how to apply how to write this in a MATLAB we'll see here so first of all we'll uh, open MATLAB software by double clicking on uh, MATLAB icon it will open its default window default environment we are already uh, familiar with this environment in the previous uh, video now this is a command window we have to write uh, the matlab program in editor window so we can write either we can uh, call it by clicking on new or we can write here edit in matlab command uh, prompt and we have editor now, uh, instead of writing uh, each uh, the that program by each line, we will uh, uh, call or we will copy that uh, program from Word which I have already written and paste here so that we can save our time. So uh, we can write this uh, definition or the title. So here before writing any title or any information we should start it by writing this uh, symbol that is percent sign and after writing the percent sign it will just add as a information and it will not play any uh, role in the program we can we can write uh, here the problem statement also right you can see the color color is green so that that is nothing but the comment then we write uh, matrix a which we have already written we'll copy and then paste in the uh, editor window right so we can also write the same uh, matrix by uh, separating the two rows by semicolon like this or uh, writing the rows on the different line these are there are the different ways to write any matrix then we will write the flow matrix we will write the second column matrix on next line then uh, this line tell gives us the solution for d1 b1 and d2 b2 d1 b1 and d2 b2 
So this is the command which can show this uh, solution or whatever the line we have written between this uh, single inverted comma. Then we can uh, give this uh, matrix, uh, this matrix operation to find the unknown matrix to find the unknown matrix x. Now after finding unknown matrix we have to uh, assign the different uh, elements so that can be assigned by using this command. So d1 is nothing but the first element of column matrix 1 column matrix x. Similarly b2 is second element D2 is third and B2 is four. Then we'll solve for column two. So we should write same as the previous one. Then we'll uh, provide the material balance equation which we have formed. So this is for column two. Then we'll uh, write for column 3 also same material balance equation which we have all, uh, formed earlier right so here we have uh, written the sufficient uh, program line for this above program then after writing this uh, we will save the program now uh, if you make uh, some mistakes that program will not run so uh, we will give the name so suppose we will give the name uh, distillation train train and we'll save right now uh, to run the program there are different ways either we can uh, write the name of the uh, editor window itself or we can use this uh, or we can click here right or we can write f5 key we'll see what will happen right so it gives unrecognized function or variable distillation that means there there is one uh, there is a error while saving the uh, this program now while saving this program you should always uh, remember that there should not be any uh, space between the uh, name of the program which we save so right so here we will we'll, uh, save this program again and we'll see how what will happen we'll save same program we'll save same program in another window but we'll uh, name by the name that is distillation train distillation train but without spacing now see what will happen you can use CLC to clear the screen now we'll uh, run the same uh, editor window yes the program is run and we can have the results which shows to maximize this window we can uh, maximize by clicking here by the uh, this drop down arrow and we'll click on maximize so that window will maximize here and you can see here the program executed here it's named distillation train the, here is a a matrix here is a f matrix now the solution for d1 b1 d2 b2 is given in the form of matrix a and we can assign that values for these elements of x d1 is first element b1 is second one d2 and b2 so we have find that uh, molar fluorides d1 b1 d2 b2 similarly for column 2 we have find out d and the composition of uh, xylene styrene toluene and benzene in distillate stream similarly here we have find for uh, column 3 that value of B that is bottom fluoride from the distillation column 1 and uh, the mole fraction of B that is uh, uh, for xylene, styrene, toluene and benzene mole fraction in bottom. So in this way we can have 
all the unknowns which we have to find out. So in again by clicking here on this we, we will have the default window. Right. So in this way we can solve by uh, solve that uh, simultaneous linear equation by using matrix operation. Thank you.